Something we encounter often is users not setting their headphone amplifier correctly in Beacon Mic. In today's video, we're going to talk about why it's important to set your headphone amplifier and how to do so. Let's jump in. When setting up Beacon Mic, setting up the amp power for the headphone amp should be your first step. The reason for this is different types of headphones can drive different levels of power. From the user perspective, this can be perceived as being louder or quiet. For instance, in-ear monitors are known to be very efficient, meaning they can get quite loud. For this reason, if you are using in-ear monitors, you can use the in-ear monitor setting as it will reduce the power to the amp. If you're using wireless headphones and you have the beacon mic plugged into the wireless transmitter to your headphones, then you want to set this to line level, as in this instance you're using the headphone port on beacon mic as a line out. For most headphones, normal power will be sufficient to drive them. If you have high impedance headphones and you find them to be quiet on normal power, such as Bayer Dynamic DT990 Pros, you want to use the high impedance mode so that the appropriate power can be added to the amp to drive the headphones. The reason setting the correct amp power mode is so important is we don't want the amp to be over or underpowered for your headset or in-ears. As an example, if you were to use high impedance headphones but run them on normal power, it'll likely sound like everything is really quiet. This will force you to start turning up your volume to be able to hear it, which in turn means the volume going out to your stream could be higher and not balanced. 